Steve Morales here, returning for another interesting episode, this time on the Nova Familia Prison Gang's Northern Regiment, and a few key individuals, past and present, involved in spreading NF operations to the streets. In that regard, I will cover this subject going by Northern California counties. In this episode, I will not cover Monterey or Santa Clara County, as those will be covered in my next episodes. I've already covered Fresno County and how many NF and associates split to form the Bulldogs, but how a few remained there as as Nortes. Just as a reminder, I rarely weigh in on recent prison gang activity. Almost everything I talk about here in this video and past videos has been printed in the press or proven in court. These individuals can easily be found on CDC and BOP inmate locator systems. Even former gang members, some who have YouTube channels, will tell you I do not reveal any big secrets with them, and I try to be very careful not to jeopardize any current cases and ensure that I'm as accurate as possible in my work. These videos are just the tip of the iceberg of what I really know as far as intelligence, but I'm glad to share a little glimpse of it with those who are civilians and interested as well as for law enforcement training purposes. If you look at this California Department of Justice map, you will see the main areas where the NF has been active in recent years, according to state investigators. Next to the DOJ map, I have placed a map found in the property of Northern Structure member showing NF and NS activity all over California. As was discussed in multiple previous episodes on the NF, the founders of this organization were actually all from Southern California. And there were Southern California regiments active back in the 1970s. But today, NF activity or members in Southern California is extremely rare. The Nuestra Familia is relatively small in a tightly run organization of approximately 200 active members in California and in the federal BOP. They exert influence over many Norteño Barrios, but not all. An NF member outside of prison is typically a leader within a street gang or a shot caller sometimes called a regimental commander or overall, and their other names. Sometimes they're called captains, lieutenants, etc. It depends on the syntax. These individuals say they do not tax Norteño gangs, as La Eme does, to Sureño gangs, which they state is outright oppression. But the NF does highly encourage and often demand that Norteño high rollers contribute funds to the cause, which basically amounts to the same thing. And if they don't, they're often targeted for ripoffs and sometimes even death. For now, let's start out with the most northern counties. If you recall on the NS map, Pelican Bay in Del Norte County was where the NF headquarters. Many times convicts' relatives will visit them inside the bay and stay out in town. There is not a huge presence in that county, but some relatives end up moving there because they get tired of the long drives from way down south. I occasionally talk to cops and corrections from Humboldt County, long known for its marijuana groves and post-hippie crowd. There have been a few NS documented in Humboldt County. By 2011, authorities learned the Norse family gang planned to create a new street regiment in Redding, California. This regiment was scheduled to control all Northern gangs in Shasta, Tehama, Glen, and Butte County. But I don't think that really ever took off. Press Demon Tobias Vigil is from Chico, California. He was a Nuestra Familia associate who was sent to the BOP, but hit in March of 2013 at McCrary on the orders of Mad Dog Cervantes via Paul Killinger and Leonard Vilches for not taking care of NF business. A couple of the now disbanded Northern California Gang Investigator Association board members that I knew were from Yuba County, and I know of about 30 past Northern Structure members from there. Nearby Woodland, California, is located in Yolo County. Longtime NF General Corny Tristan is from there in the top 10 NF video. There have been a few NF and NS documented from Mendocino County, like Manuel Wizard Flaco Montelongo, who was named in the 1982 NF case, and Andy Martinez, who was caught with a copy of the XIV bonds in 2008. The city of Ukiah is in Mendocino County, and there was at least one major NF meeting that I know of conducted there in March of 2000 that was mentioned in Operation Black Widow. Napa County has also had a few players over the years, like former NF Vic Del Porto, who I had at New Folsom in the early 1990s. But that county is most famous for wine production and considered a very ritzy area, 
In fact, that part of California, in particular Sonoma County, is often referred to as the Gold Coast by the NF. It was in Sonoma County, Santa Rosa to be specific, during the Operation Black Widow case that kicked off on September 16, 1999, which just so happens to be the NF birthday. Operation Black Widow was initiated after the murder of a local NS member named Darren Smiley Harden, who died on December 14, 1996. It was also found that a local crew working for the NF was called the Wolf Pack. This is not to be confused by the Aryan Gang operating in CDC that is addressed by the same name. During Operation Black Widow, Daniel Lizard Achille Hernandez was flipped in January 2000 and with assistance from the gang task force was able to convince some that he was the sole NF general in charge. I know many law enforcement who have serious questions about his credibility. For instance, he was going around after he dropped out doing seminars saying that he was actually put on La Eme in Southern California by none other than Honorary Godfather Joe Morgan. This is something I know for a fact that is false. He also told some of my Washington cop contacts that he was a Mexican Mafia member after Operation Black Widow. Regardless, he was able to inflict serious damage on the NF, and many members and associates were sent away to the feds or dropped out. And I have a high respect for Detective George Collard, who was one of the lead individuals in Operation Black Widow. After Operation Black Widow, many Sonoma County Northern Structure also dropped out and became Northern Riders or New Flowers, like Gerald Chato Winston, who also had a new Folsom prison and who supported the Bulldogs during their split from the NF. Others, like NF Captain Javier Flaco Zubiate from Santa Rosa, stayed around a little longer until he also de yelled. Marine County is where San Quentin, also known as Tamal and Quilmas, is located and it has been an NF stronghold since the late 1960s. Marine County is also very pricey, so most NF activity has been inside the walls, as mentioned in numerous episodes on this channel. San Francisco County, which encompasses the city of San Francisco, has had many NF over the years. I know this area very well, as my compadre's father and mother grew up there and would tell stories of a young Carlos Santana playing free concerts just across the street from Mission High School. This was before he became famous at Woodstock. San Fran has produced many newest familiar members over the years, such as Glenn Hobo Holden, who was an NF captain under General Babo Sosa. Danilo Bebe Melendez was part of the infamous Los Siete case in the Mission District. He hooked up with the NF upon his incarceration, but was killed in April of 1978 at DVI, perhaps due to him wanting to start a more revolutionary splinter group, as it was spelled out in the original West Familia Mexicana Constitution. Melendez planned to call this group Nuestra Cosa Latino. He most definitely did not start Familia Cinco, as I've heard some claim. I will likely do more detailed episodes later on Los Siete as well as Familia Cinco. SFM also produced guys like NF member and lieutenant Luis Rotro Oroche, who I had at New Folsom when they ran the yard. Former NF captain, writer, and current YouTuber John Boxer Mendoza is also from SFM, as are the Guerrero brothers. Former NF Bismarck Nicoya Ocampos is from San Fran's EMA, as is William Dreamer Fernandez, who is loyal to the federal NF, last I checked. Solano County is well known for the California Medical Facility in Vacaville, which was the main reception center for the California Department of Corrections. It also has a newer facility, Solano County State Prison. Solano County has had a few NF and NS over the years. There was also NF in Sacramento, like Richard Bowinkle Medina, was killed on October 4th, 1972 at Tehachapi by MA assassins. This was a payback for Medina killing an MF affiliate named Frank Quemado Venegas from Oyo Maravilla. Recent State General James Conejo Perez moved to Sacra early on in life, but it was later discovered that he originally claimed in a Los Angeles game called Plumera Flats earlier in his career, and this fueled further criticism of him pushing a peace accord with La Eme so that he could make more money on CDC yards. He had also previously been disciplined by NF Brass and banned from ever becoming a general or even a captain. I have a well-documented 1975 San Jose PD report on him in my book. The greater Sacramento area is an interesting place in the history of the Nuestra Familia. 
I believe Vidal Spider Fabela is from Broderick, which is located just west of the city. Broderick has always been known to be a, a rebel Norteño gang, and they often sported a lot of black, more black than red. Spider was associated with Guerrero Gratton in getting the gun CD put out to the streets, and was also ha close to Happy Cervantes from nearby Lodi, which is located just south of, of Sacra. Spider was indicted with other NF in the 2002 RICO case and has been very active in the feds, even though he got in trouble a few times for his meth problem when he was spun. Like I said, Broderick and West Sac has always been very independent from the rest of the Norteño Collective. Then you also had Northern Rider founder Snoop Vasquez, who was from Sactown. I lived in Sacramento when I worked at New Folsom, so I kept tabs on all of the local NF some who live fairly close to my home. I never had any problems on the streets and very few issues inside because I always showed respect. I didn't always respect what they did, but I felt it was not my place to make judgment at work. And so I usually got respect back in return. Sacra still has a few NF like Scott Jasper Capone Custard, who's doing life in the BOP. And James Slim Bustamante was active in Corcoran Shoe, New Folsom, and is currently housed at Salama. Also, Alberto Smilon Martinez hails from Sacra and was housed in Corcoran Shoe for about 10 years, later moved to Salinas Valley Prison, and more recently has been at High Desert State Prison. Below Sacramento County lies San Joaquin County, in particular Stockton, which temporarily served as an NF headquarters at one time, and also had a sort of an NF hit squad in the Little Unity Clica that included guys like Manny Lito Vasquez, and Andy Chino Flores, Roberto Macaron Navarez, and Rocky Rontal. The city produced many Nuestra Familia canales over the years, including Fred Charlie Mosca Castillo, who was killed by the EB on behalf of the EME in the 1970s at Chino Prison. Manuel Pinas Villa Sana de Stockton was a very early NF member. In fact, as you could see, in this old gang task force photocopy, his membership preceded the official NF logo. Stockton had guys like Gary Caveman, a.k.a. Pizza Romero, who's caught up in Operation Black Widow, as well as longtime NF shot caller Andrew Mad Dog Cervantes, who's been a major force in the federal BOP for many decades. Nico Vasquez was also from Stockton and housed at Pelican Bay in Corcoran Shoes. He was later moved to Salinas Valley State Prison and most recently has been at Salon. It later became known that one of the main NF informants in Stockton was a guy named Charles Pinet Oak. Oak was wired up and helped prosecutors there take down two dozen alleged NF and associates. Tracy is the second largest city in San Joaquin County, and this is where Jacob Blackie Enriquez is from. He was mentioned in Operation Black Widow. By the way, David Serdano Rocha was never an NF, and I don't think even a northern structure, but he was caught up in that same case as promoting gangster rap to further the cause. As far as I know, he was just a hardcore Norteño rapper who knew many NF and NS, and he is now a Christian pastor and has been saved. You can catch my interview of him talking about his new mission in life and quest for peace on the calles on this channel. Armando Spider Flores from Lodi was mentioned in several C-files I read back in the late 1980s and 90s, but was not validated as being a canal until later. He was loyal to the federal NF when they had issues with the state NF faction. Recently, he has been housed at Solano State Prison. And of course, there is Happy Cervantes, who also hails from Lodi. I had him at the King County Jail after he went on the run. That is me here holding up his uniform on the left-hand side, right before we put him on ultra-security status. Contra Costa County has had a lot of Northern Structure activity over the years and might be most known for producing Ryan Mitchell Wood, a.k.a. Woody from Antioch. I wrote about him and other Norteño rappers in my book on Latino music and gangster rap. While several NF have stated that he contributed to the cause, they say he was not being shaken down by the NF. Woody had traveled to Washington State and Oregon, among other places, making contact with local ends, as seen here. He is said to have committed suicide in early March 2007, I believe in Oregon, which is where some of the rumors arose from. Contra Costa also produced NF-like YouTuber Curtis Rojo Fisher. There was also Nicholas Hazy Salcido from Richmond. And a few NF in the 1970s came out of Pittsburgh. 
Mark Happy Boyce was an NF bank robber from Alameda County who was housed in the feds. Oakland is known for its large black population and black gangs, but it also has a lot of Hispanics living there, especially on the east side or east side, no Oakland. So, my records show that Ruben Gato Espinosa was from Alameda County, and I recall that he was killed by later NF Captain Sleeper Esquivel in 1988. Patrick Tree Baker was an NF from Oakland under Babo Sosa until he DO'd in the mid 1980s, as did Felix Vig Avilios after Babo's impeachment in the NF internal war during the late 1970s to early 80s. John Coyote Beberino was NF until he DO'd. In the mid 1990s, longtime NF Valentino Pelucos Altamirano also hails from Oakland and is loyal to the federal NF faction. Hayward had some NF at one time, like James Wero Cosad, who was named in the 1982 NF Rico case. I had quite a few Northern structure from the Hayward car and New Folsom, like Donald Sleepy U. Lewis, who, as I recall, was related somehow to the Escovedo family, including well known singer Sheila E who's associated with Prince. Another guy from Hayward was Anthony Chavo Jacobs, who I remember always wore sunglasses because supposedly his eyes were light sensitive. I understand that he was sold up at the Bay with Rocky Ramirez, who was an NF captain from Bakers. And Rocky was supposedly related to M.A. Gershain Canena. Chavo ripped off some NF carnales and ended up rolling and taking down some of them when he did so. San Mateo County had some NF and associates like Jaime Hennessy Cervantes, who was caught up in a double homicide case with Happy Cervantes. Hennessy operated with, with Happy and, and fellow NF Berlades, who reported to Mad Dog Cervantes. I have taught for the Bay Area Gang Task Force, as well as done seminars in places like San Francisco, where Happy was housed in a halfway house. And I did some classes on his activities, as well as other NF in the greater Bay Area. Daly City is the second most populated city in San Mateo, and is also known for NF and Northern Structure activity. Kenny Mouse Cisne was from Eastside Daly City, as was Albert Maton Trejo. Benny Little Papa, a.k.a. Mosco Ovencia, was from Eastside Daly City, as was his big brother Paul Puppet, a.k.a. Demon Ovencia, who ended up moving out to Florida. Santa Cruz County, in particular Watsonville, is often associated with the Salinas Regiment. So I will cover that county more in depth in a separate episode dealing with Salas. The biggest city in San Salas County is Modesto, which has been home to several NF over the years, like Juan Toro Irigoyen, who ran with the Babo Sosa car back in the 1970s. Modesto also put out Fat Joe Farrell, who has been seen with many NF in the BOP, like Pony Boy Mares. Few people know of Manuel Oman Lujan from Modesto, but I know that for a fact that he schools Northern Structure in the feds, and had the blessing of NF Brass, including Mad Dog Cervantes. There was also David Pontiac Garcia of Modesto, who was on the NF hit list that Louis Dump Truck Chavez gave up in 1990. Modesto put out David Joker Azarate, Pablo Pali Rodriguez, as well as Manuel Lino Gonzalez and Richard Huero Bernal, both said to have been sponsors of Robert Huero Granton, who produced the Gun CD, and several B-movies showcasing the gangster lifestyle. I will probably do a separate episode on the gun at a later date, but I had Wero Bernal on my yard at New Folsom around 1990. As far as Wero's induction and status in NF, I have some serious questions that I bring up in my book. And like I said, I'll have to do a whole different episode on him and the gun at a later date. Grant died in July 2008, and several of his kids went on to become Northern Riders from the Wicked West part of Modesto. In fact, Modesto was well known for having a lot of dropouts, both New Flowers and Riders. San Benito's biggest city is Hollister, probably best known for being the unofficial birthplace of outlaw bikers. It produced NF member Richard Hot Bernal, not to be confused with the Modesto NF Richard Bernal that I just mentioned previously. Merced County has been home to a few NF over the years like Ed Face Fuentes and Andrew Shotgun Duran. Jose Big Guero, Gonzalez and his son Guarito were from Los Baños, which is a little town in the county. Big Guero was an NF captain who finally DO'd, but both were very deep in NF politics. Madera County produced NF members Rudy Castaneda and Benny Martinez, as well as a few associates. 
Kings County was controlled for many years by Sean Bubbles Cumberland, who is now listed as a dropout in the feds. His power came from dealing meth, and he was also known for consuming it and sometimes tweaking. I also have Raymond Indio Lucky Aguilar from Hanford as being in a past NF, as well as Killer Joe Lopez. Recently deceased NF General James Tibbs Morado was also from Hanford. I have information that Daniel Diablo Caudillo from Corcoro was a past NF member in the 1970s, and Ronald Double R. Solis was an NF member in the 1990s. Dionoso Coyote Rendon was also from Corcoro, and of course, several NF were housed at Corcoran Shoe for many years, including the recently deceased Mondo Quinn, who ran Coco for many years until he was shot and killed at High Desert Prison by a CDC gunner after he attacked another inmate during an internal house cleaning. The biggest city in Tralara County is Vasalia, and that is where controversial NF figure Gerald Cuete Rubalcaba is from. Daniel Pajaro Hernandez was prosecuted during the 1982 NF Rico case. Big Joe Fernandez was active with the O in the 1970s and housed it at a California medical facility in the early 80s. He did time in the BOP in the late 1980s for bank robbery, dropped out, and has appeared on many hit lists. More recently, federally prosecuted Salvador Gainstro Castro also comes out of Tulare County. Sylvester Silver Gomez was from the area and was mentioned in the Operation Black Widow case, and he had beefs with several other NF. John Wicky Gaetan and Marcos Littleman Ramirez were also from Visalia. Robert Beto Palomino worked with Rock Bubbles Camarón in the area. Oscar Big Huesos Alderate is often associated with San Jose, but he actually was from Tulare County initially and is discussed in my NF book. Israel Silent Mendoza Cavazos is also from the town and was active in the BOP until released in 2019. A.B. Anthony Chino Morales, no, no relation to me, was also mentioned in Operation Black Widow and was released in 2009. Angel Young Buck Chavez is from the little town of Goshen and has an NF tat on his ab as seen here. I believe Jesse Draghi de la Cruz is from the little town of Woodlake, located just northeast of Visalia. He was active in the NF in the 1970s, became a hermit, came back to CDC on the J number, and is now a defense expert. Trinidad Martinez is from the small town of Early Mark and was associated with the state faction of the NF. Most of the top guys from the state split have now been sent to the feds, so it will be interesting to see if they lock it up or somehow make amends and are forgiven by the federal faction, which is something that Tibbs Morado had recommended in one of the reasons he was killed for. So I think I covered quite a few major movers and shakers in the NF in Northern California over the last five plus decades. I hope you enjoyed this episode and learned a little something new. Again, you can check out my book on the Norse Familia for more information on these individuals as well as their associated values. Thank you for watching and giving your continued support. This is Gabe Morales signing off, Gangsters, Cops, and Politicians. <laughs>